smartphone bill. Two years ago, the then deputy premier racked up $20,000 in roaming charges during a trip to Europe. Fletcher Kent has our top story. Even to the heaviest cell phone users, Thomas Lukasik's more than $20,000 bill raises eyebrows. That's ridiculous and that should be coming out of his own pocket. Like that's... I guess it's a little ridiculous. Um, I'm sure he has his reasons, but um, I, I think that's a little bit ridiculous. Indeed, the PC leadership candidate spent the day both campaigning and explaining the two-year-old cell bill. I am sorry that it happened in general. You know, that's a lot of money to me. Um, and, uh, and I accept the fact that Albertans find it uh, troublesome. The Edmonton Sun obtained documents itemizing more than $20,000 worth of roaming charges. Lukasik says they happened while he was on vacation in Europe in October of 2012. A sensitive legal issue emerged and he was told to deal with it. That process used 2.3 gigabytes worth of data. The government tried fighting the bill but failed. In hindsight, so I could have perhaps put a some kind of a roaming, whatever you call those packages, on my own personal um, device. This isn't the only massive cell bill incurred by government. Last fall, Energy Minister Diana McQueen received a more than $14,000 charge for a trip to Europe. It was reduced to about 200 bucks on appeal. Since then, the province has created a cell phone policy and bought plans with better roaming packages, but opposition parties say that's all too late. Rachel Notley calls these bills further proof of a Tory sense of entitlement. What this indicates is that another minister didn't care, didn't take the time, just assumed that it was a bottomless pit of taxpayers' dollars for their disposal. Luke Hazek says that's not fair. Every bite of data he used was for work, and he's ignoring calls to pay back that money. Fletcher Kent, Global News. Now, Luke Kazik says the timing of these released documents is strange. He's in the midst of a leadership campaign and says these files could only have come from somebody with access to the original bills. Both the Jim Prentice and Rick McIver campaigns deny any involvement. Rachel Notley is getting the backing of a colleague in her bid to become Alberta's next NDP leader. The pair made the announcement at a local park this morning. MLA Darren Billis believes Notley has the skills, the passion and the knowledge to lead the party and make it grow. Notley is vying to replace current leader Brian Mason, who announced a few months ago he would be stepping down this fall. I honestly believe that she is the, the best person to move us forward to bring together uh, um, and, and unite progressive voices and, uh, and present a true viable alternative to the two right-wing parties. David Egan and Rod Loyola are also candidates in the NDP leadership race. A teenager was forced to jump into action this afternoon. His